What's up everyone? I'm your female Taku and I'm here to review episode 10 of Demichon. And with this episode we go back with Machi taking center stage and we really needed that okay because a lot of people were putting Machi as like one of the, the last places of their best girl rankings and I'm just like no! Machi's still amazing! You guys can't forget! You can't forget the greatness that is Machi! So I'm really happy that she was like, you know, the main focus of this episode. The first half being a little strange at first with Machi really wanting to kiss Takahashi-sensei because he caught he did, of course, you know, on the cheek in that one episode, but still, she gotta kiss him! And it's Sato-sensei, she was just like, I'm so jealous! Just Sato sensei. Don't worry, you'll get yours one day. You'll get yours. But uh, yeah, Machi, she's just like, well, if everyone else is treating it like a joke, then I guess it won't be so bad if I kissed him. However, she was uh, being a bit too forward and she was like picking up her, be her, her head and she was like, you know, having a hard time balancing it, you know, trying to kiss him and stuff. And Takahashi sensei, you know, he was kind of busy holding a bunch of packages and stuff. So uh, that, that was just really bad timing. But then she ends up dropping her head. Luckily she was able to catch it, but still that was like a really serious situation. I was just like, oh my god, she... Oh, we, we gotta save that head! Oh my god! But, but then Takahashi, he dropped his stuff and went to go, you know, save her, but Machi was able to catch her own head, but Takahashi Sensei got really mad and I, I understood that, okay? I didn't think Takahashi Sensei should have apologized in the, in, in the end because Machi was completely in the wrong. But of course, you know, Takahashi Sensei doesn't know the whole situation as to why Machi was doing this in the first place. So I can see why he thought that this was more of his fault. But still, just Takahashi Sensei, you did absolutely nothing wrong, okay? I totally understand why he did that. Because he cares for Machi, so of course he yelled at her. Because this is a serious matter. What would have happened if she, her head was actually dropped? This is it's really sensitive, man. This is a head we're talking about. Like, oh my god, that would have been so bad. So Machi felt really bad because she got yelled at by Takahashi Sensei. And then Hikari goes up in there and tries to s smooth everything up. And I love how Hikari just, you know, makes it her business and clears everything up in the end. It's, it's lovely every single time. And it works too, so that's fantastic. And so they all made up and they had an awkward laugh at the end. <laughs> He kind of didn't even know what was going on, but she could still tell that Machi didn't want to say anything. So she laughed, made Yuki laugh, and they all just laughed. It was just like, what's going on? That was great. And then with the second half of the episode, I think it makes us assume, I'm supposed to assume that Machi might want to become a scientist. That would be pretty cool because we know Machi, you know, likes to study and stuff. She thinks it's fun, and, you know, likes problem solving. That's cool. I've always liked problem solving as well. I was a big fan of algebra. But with science, she discovered that there is more answers than just one to solve a problem. There's an infinite amount of possibilities. And she was able to find out more about herself. The fact that she is a extra special phenomenon and that she could be somewhat of a psychic. She could have some sort of wormhole. It's all this other quantum physics. It's just, there's so many possibilities as to what she is. And it's not just a Dulahan. She doesn't have to label herself to one thing. She can explore more and find out other possibilities as well, explore other theories and answers. And she really liked that. And I was like, Good on you, Machi! Good on you! And this new guy, Soma, he was really entertaining. The fact that he only has one facial expression is hilarious. I don't know how these guys are friends, you know him and Takahashi. I mean, they said that they sat together in a lecture, but still after that, like, why did they start talking? I didn't think they would get along as a guy like Take Takahashi Sensei befriending this goober, like what? But I guess it worked out in the end. Soma is a really entertaining character and I hope we get to see him again soon. But we only have about like two or three more episodes left. I don't know if this is a 12 episode anime or 13 episode. Let me know your thoughts on this episode. What do you think about Soma? What do you think about the infinite amount of possibilities when it comes to Machi and her body? And catch me later as I review March comes in like a lion. I'm your female Otaku. Sign out.